Hello guys, uh, in this video we will be talking about the overview of oxidative fuel metabolism. Now you can see here from the glycogen, it, uh, the breakdown of glycogen yields glucose and then glucose will go through the pyruvate uh, production via the glycolysis then through the Krebs cycle it will generate uh, carbon dioxide, a few amount of ATP and the energy consuming molecules, not consuming, energy uh, leaving or energy carrying molecules like NADP, NADH and FADH2 which will further generate ATP via the electron transport chain. As described uh, in chapter previous, uh, previous chapters, the glycogen is broken down into glucose which is converted to pyruvate via the glycolysis. Pyruvate is precursor for the synthesis of acetyl-CoA resulting in the in, uh, in release of carbon dioxide in these steps uh, okay, via the process called pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. Amino acid and fatty acids are also precursors for acetyl-CoA because the broken down product of amino acids and fatty acids are uh, always acetyl-CoA. Acetyl-CoA needs uh, or feeds into the citric acid cycle. Two molecules of carbon dioxide are released during each cycle of this. Okay. 